I think this is my first video I've done with my new hair. I actually got it done like a week ago, but then I'd already filmed my videos that I uploaded last week. Still very mishmash. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'd already know. I got my hair done a little bit more wild. You know, sometimes you just feel like having a change or being a little bit out there. So this is what happened. This is what I'm going to be rocking for the summer. And I'm so ready to turn up this summer. This summer, I'm feeling adventurous. I'm feeling like, oh, I'm going on holiday. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do so many things like spontaneous things. I want to like travel Europe or something. You guys know how much I love Eurovision? If you're following me on Twitter and Instagram, you know I was going crazy on Eurovision. <laughs> And if anybody remembers Eurovision 2007, Ukraine were the best. I'm getting emotional. I will leave a link. Next year, I really, really want to go and see Eurovision live, and it's in Austria. And my uncle-in-law is from Austria. I'm going to Austria basically next year is all I'm trying to say. And I'm going to Eurovision. Nobody can stop me. Anyway guys, welcome to Motivation Monday. Today's topic is diets and diet fads. Shout out to DM and Zane A who actually requested this topic, so you guys are awesome. They request it over on Facebook, so hi guys. What's up? Diets is something that I'm super passionate about, like viciously, partially passionate about hating. Diets is just one of those things that I can be so harsh and vicious about and not care because I feel like they're the most stupid and evil things ever created. Basically, the weight loss industry, the health industry can be super evil. There's a very ugly side of this industry. There's a very pretty and happy and cute side filled with people who genuinely want to help you and anything that they're selling you is actually genuine and actually gonna help you when there's a side that's just out to make as much money as possible and keep you guys hooked and those are the diets you get hooked on and get obsessed with and I am talking about your Dukin diets I'm talking about your Atkins ABC 52 all those different diets you see like they have books and websites and all that kind of stuff I'm not just talking about those kind of diets. I'm talking about Weight Watchers those programs and stuff like that diet chef what else do you have like Jenny Craig I don't know but there are a lot of things that offer you a set plan. You don't have to do anything, you just have to follow what they tell you to do. And that's where I have a problem. Because as soon as you stop listening to them, as soon as you quit, stop doing whatever that diet tells you to do, you will gain the weight back. It might not happen super fast, but you will gain that weight back eventually. Some of them are actually quite good. Some of them do genuinely teach you some good points. Then there are some that are actually so unhealthy it makes me want to cry and punch puppies in the face. But I never have. But I would. I would because that's how angry and frustrated they make me. The ones that make you fast for two days, come on. The ones that make you cut out a whole food group or just eat one food group. Or the ones that make you just under eat a ridiculous amount, like stupid, 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 stupid. Basically what you should do before you start any kind of diet or new way of living, ask yourself, can I do this for the rest of my life? If the answer is no, do not do it. If you think, yeah, I could, do, I could, I think I could do this for the rest of my life, but rock on and do it. But what you'll find with a lot of these diets is they're very short term. They will not last you a long time. And then you have the diet programs such as Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, Diet Chef, but yeah, you have Slimming World as well. They're not the worst. Diet programs are a little bit better than diets because diet programs are kind of designed for you to actually have a healthier sort of mindset and stuff like that but the problem is as soon as you quit those programs or you move away from where your support group is or something like that work gets in the way and you can't go to your regular meetings and you can't do all of the stuff that used to help you to lose weight you will end up gaining that weight back you can't go to Weight Watchers for the rest of your life and this is why I am always 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 enforcing the healthy balanced diet on you guys it's much easier to find your own way of being a healthier person. There is no cookie cutter diet that works for everybody and will get you to the point you want to be and make you feel great and look great and stuff like that. Everyone has a different way of eating that works for them. I just feel some kind of way when it comes to diets and honestly I hate shoving my opinion down anybody's throat so if you have a different opinion, if you've tried a diet and it's genuinely worked for you and you genuinely feel healthy, happy and luscious and it's helped you in the long run. Like I want it to be like yes I did this diet 
a couple of years later on, I'm still doing fine. Tell me about it because I never, I never want to be one of those people that force my opinion down on anyone's throat and say this is the only thing that works. Do what I'm telling you. Don't listen to that. Do this. Do that. I never want to be like that. But what I'm saying from my personal experience is diets are just not, not good. They're just there for you to make money for the weight loss industry. Basically, what I've just noticed just being healthy, there are meal plans and stuff like that. If you ever hear like a personal trainer or a trainer or something like that that have like meal plans and they sell meal plans, I'd rather you go for them because those are people who generally are trying to help people out and actually give good healthy advice for you to eat healthy and everything like that. Yes, they might be making money as well, but at the same time, they're a lot more passionate about it. They actually have investment in it because when you are a healthy person who lives a healthy lifestyle and you're not just a big corporation trying to make money, you're a lot more invested in actually making sure the people you're selling something to are healthy and happy and good. You feel like you're the type of person who does need that crutch of having your diet put out there for you, like something to have a structure, then look for a trainer. There are a lot of online ebooks and stuff like that with meal plans and advice and stuff like that. Look for those by trainers. Like I feel like I've just kind of gone off on a tangent, but honestly guys, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to tell you the one tip you can take away from this video that actually makes sense other than me just rambling and ranting on is that if you can't do it for the rest of your life, don't do it. Live a healthy lifestyle you can think about and say, yeah, I could genuinely do this for the rest of my life. Like currently what I'm doing right now, I'm like, yeah, I could do this for the rest of my life. I eat healthy and clean and I feel luscious and great most of the time. Yeah, I do have my treats. You guys follow me on Instagram. I always try and enforce the fact that I do have treats. I do have cheat meals on a regular basis. I just slap my thigh and sorry. There is a documentary on this. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably watched it. I don't know. I watched it and it was so good. Mostly because I am an absolute documentary lover. I just love documentaries and at the same time I'm absolutely passionate about health and fitness of course. So then when they put it together and make it into a one big documentary series about the health industry and the weight loss industry and all of that, it's so interesting. I really do recommend because they have all the scientific evidence and like facts and they actually did research and asked people go and watch that documentary because it pretty much says what I just said in this video but backs it up with actual facts and you can see them interviewing the actual people that create these diets and how money hungry they are and all this different stuff but anywho if I remember what that documentary is and I find it online or something like that I will leave a link to it down below but yeah also if you were wondering what my outfit is about I will be uploading an outfit of the day video with this outfit because I got sent some lovely bits from Choey's show you guys that in another video so make sure you like this video if you want to see my outfit make sure you're requesting down below what you want next week's motivation Monday to be about and also make sure you're using the hashtags motivation Monday and adding me on Twitter if you want to ask me any questions tell me about your progress or anything like that also you can use the hashtag motivation Monday and Scaladando over on Instagram and I'll be following you guys back and liking your pictures and stalking you basically yeah Anyway guys, stay healthy, stay luscious, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! This is something you get told so often, like, having a big breakfast will just change your world. It will rock your world. Um, I'm not kidding. So, for me personally, I've noticed... if I